What's up guys? Uh, another very, very highly requested cut test. Today it's BG10 in the form of a brand spanking new Spyderco Enduro. Um, never liked these knives. Never appealed to me. It's dirty. Yeah, there's fingerprints all over it. Never appealed to me. Um, but recently, uh, for some reason it has. Maybe it's its price point, maybe it's the performance or lightweight, I don't know. But uh, I don't have a lot of money to spend on really high-end knives. <clears throat> so I'm kind of getting back into the lower end stuff. Not to say it's bad, just not $500. I can't afford that right now. Uh, this knife was like $60 and I didn't have to pay nearly that much because I had store credit. So I got it for a really good deal and um, I would not have bought it honestly unless you guys had not requested that I test this steel. But I'm glad you did because I've grown to like the knife a lot. Um, I've already cut some rope with it earlier and I noticed that I'm putting a lot of pressure on the blade and that's doing something with the lock right here. So I hope I'm not wearing the knife out uh, doing this test because I do want to carry it. It's a cool knife. Uh, I really do like it, so I want to carry it, so I hope I'm not ruining the knife doing this test. But initial sharpness, hair whittling, literally, not just saying that, it whittles hair. Um, this factory edge, it, literally it's a factory edge on here, Spyderco really laid this edge back. I would guess it's around 30, 28 to 30 degrees inclusive. <clears throat> I slapped a little micro bevel on there and got it hair whittling and I'm ready to rock. So roughly nine feet of uh, three eighths inch sisal rope and I guess I'll just go ahead and get to it. Very good cutter. I know I've been saying that a lot lately but I haven't I haven't come across a knife lately that hasn't been a very good cutter. This one is is very high on that spectrum of good cutters. This thing really melts through the rope quickly. I always test sharpness after the first few cuts. Already have some pretty substantial rolls in the edge, although I I can get past them, as you can see. Uh, they're actually not that bad. So, it's still slicing fairly well. This knife is a really good cutter. It's an excellent performer. I've heard a lot of people say that before. But I just never, never really thought about it. <clears throat> it is a really good cutter, though. Uh, one of my commenters, Bob Mellon, uh, I used to think this test wasn't really worth much. It was just edge retention. Still pretty good. Wow. I actually think this test was just edge retention and, and that's it, but he really pointed it out that this test has a lot of data points. It's I comment on how well the knife cuts, uh, how comfortable the handle is. A lot of times I comment on how easy it is to resharpen. Um, there are a lot of data points this test gives and I, I never recognize that and I want to thank you Bob Mellon for, for bringing that to my attention. Um, a lot of people discredit this test and that's that's perfectly fine with me um, if, if they don't think it's valuable then that's that's totally fine not everybody's gonna dig something like this but for me and I think a lot of other people this test means a lot so thank you Bob Mellon for bringing that to my attention I really appreciate that I don't know if y'all can pick it up in the video, but I am blazing through this rope. 
this knife. Possibly one of my new favorites as far as performance goes. I'm just testing the lock because I am putting a lot of stress on it. So, seems to be working fine. Go ahead and test sharpness again. I'll be surprised if it gets through the paper. I guess I gotta be surprised. It has a few catches, but I'm cutting on a weird angle because I'm not sure I'm in frame. Okay, that's definitely in frame. You could tell the part that hasn't cut. That's clean edge. That is used edge. It's still, as you can see, still able to cut. If I drag through the paper, then it, it wants to snag, but if, if I just make a nice slicing action, then it, it gets right through it. Still sharp. Gonna toss the rope. And finish off this last three, three feet, four inches, something like that. I'm putting my thumb on top of the spine, not because the knife takes that much effort. It's because I'm trying to keep uh, most of the pressure off of the lock. This is a very comfortable knife. I thought since the handle was so thin, it, it's kind of blocky that it would be uncomfortable, but it, it's not at all. In cutting, it's, it's actually fairly fairly ergonomic and comfortable. These last couple of feet are always hard to manage. This is a fully flat ground Endura, as you can see. I mean, y'all know that. This is different than the, the normal Saber ground Endura, which could be the reason for its high performance. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's a lot of the reason for its high performance. It is a cutter, though. There is no doubt about that. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with this blade. Now the edge holding, let's see, it's still able to slice, ah, it's got some glue on it, it's still able to slice phone book paper, it's not clean, but it's definitely still able to slice, with ease I would have to say. This is a very, very good EDC steel. Um, it's one reason I'm taking a liking to this knife because VG10 does hold its edge. I mean, it's it's a Japanese equivalent to 154CM and possibly ATS34, if I can remember correctly. Um, extremely easy to sharpen, and by easy I mean it's not time consuming, it doesn't fight you on the stones and it likes to take a keen edge and it holds that edge honestly that's that's fairly impressive really impressive I don't feel any burring no deformation no deformation at all that's really good I'm gonna slice with the tip again
This is with a heel, the part that has not cut. Clean push cut. And then with the tip, the part that did the cutting. You can hear the difference. I mean, it, it doesn't get through it every time, but to say this this edge is dull would be completely wrong. See how it does with printer paper. No problem. No issue at all with that. None. I mean, that's... It's getting right through that all day long. I like this steel. Uh, didn't... I didn't think I would. I didn't think I would like this knife or this steel, but I'm wrong on both counts, and I absolutely love it when that happens. When I'm surprised by something and I end up liking it more than I thought I would, it makes my day. So, and this knife is $60 to boot, so if I did mess it up somehow, I mean, I could save up the money in a couple weeks, buy a new one. So, very good knife definitely gets my stamp of approval and thanks to the guys that wanted me to do this one uh, I would put it right around 154 cm maybe possibly just a tad better um, I would have to go back and watch the video but I would definitely say it's on par with 154 cm uh, better than a USA Day better than 8CR uh, not as good as S30V, but it, it's not meant to be. It, it's not that kind of steel. So, I definitely like it. Definitely do like it. Uh, so, I think that's all I cover. I can't remember. I'll annotate it in if I forget something. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.